after understanding the complete process of mitosis, now we'll compare how this division is different in animal cells and plant cells. And we will take it stage by stage. So we are comparing it with animal cells, what happens in animal cells and in plant cells. And the stages which we want to compare are, we will write it here. Say for example, we want to compare the basic structural differences between. So structure of cell. This is the difference which, and we are talking of only the differences. Animal cells have centrioli. Plant cells do not have centrioli. So this is the most important difference because this would result into the other difference that is aster formation. So here, difference is animal cells have centrosome or which we also know as there are two centrioles which are surrounded by those pericentriolar fibers. Centrosome or we can write it as centrioles. Whereas in plant cells, centrosome or centrioles are absent. So this is one structural difference. Now let us come to the stages of karyokinesis. Say if we are talking of prophase. What happens in animal cell in prophase? The nuclear membrane disappears. There also it's going to be same. Spindle fibers appear. That is also going to be same. But in this case, we said the centrioles move towards the two poles and aster formation takes place. In case of animal cell, there are two asters which are formed. And asters are made up of centriole which are surrounded by aster rays. As there is no centriole here, there is no aster formation. So here, two asters are formed. Whereas in case of plant cell, as there is no centriole, there is no aster formation. No aster formation. This is one difference as related to the structural difference which is there between the plant cell and the animal cell. Here we saw that the spindle apparatus was formed and those spindle fibers, they seem to appear from those centrioles. Actually, they are not appearing from the centrioles, but they seem to appear. That's how that spindle-like structure is formed. In this case, as there is no aster, how are the spindle fibers formed? Spindle fibers are formed by assembly of or polymerization of the tubulin monomers. The tubulin monomers, they join to form polymers and those polymers are the threads which we call the spindle fibers. So here the spindle fibers seem to arise from centriole whereas here there is no centriole but spindle fibers do appear. So the difference is going to be, if we draw a small diagram, say here, if this is a plant cell, then how the spindle fibers would look? They would appear like this. The only difference is here we are not showing the asters. So that is only by polymerization of the tubulin monomers. So here also spindle fibers, here also spindle fibers. In prophase, the main things were uh, membrane dissociation, chromatin fiber condensation, which is common in both, aster formation, where the difference is, and those uh, structures which are formed like spindle apparatus. Here we don't have any such spindle apparatus. We just see the fibers. Whereas here, spindle apparatus is formed. Spindle apparatus has those two asters and the spindle fibers. Metaphase, basically there is no difference in metaphase which is taking place in animal cells and plant cells. Chromosomes are going to attack, come on the equatorial plane, so there is no difference. Then comes anaphase, spindle fibers contract pulling those chromosomes apart. That also is same. Now in anaphase, there is one change which takes place. So we are not writing the things which are similar. So in anaphase, 
In case of animal cells, cytokinesis begins by the end. So here we will write that cytokinesis starts by the end of anaphase. Whereas here cytokinesis is going to start by the end of telophase because the process of cytokinesis is totally different. So here we will write not in anaphase. Now the next stage is telophase. What is going to happen in telophase? Everything reverse. So reverse means nuclear membrane reappears, same in both the cells. Chromatin five chromosomes decondense to form chromatin, again the same thing. But here this difference will now come in cytokinesis. So major differences are in two stages. One is in prophase, other is in cytokinesis. For cytokinesis to be understood, the, uh, like what exactly the differences are, let us draw a small cell again. This is the animal cell. And as we said, there is a constriction which is formed. Here there are two nuclei. They are centrioles because this is the animal cell. In case of plant cell, because the plant cells have a rigid cell wall, there cannot be the invagination, the infolding of plasma membrane. The reason is that outside this, there is a rigid cell wall. And those cells which have a membrane or a layer outside plasma membrane, plasma membrane does not show foldings, infolding special. So how is the cytoplasm going to divide? This would also have its two nuclei formed. And we are not drawing the centrioles here. So now the cytoplasmic division, that is cytokinesis, starts by formation of a small plate-like structure in the middle, that is on the equatorial plane. So here, there would be a small plate-like structure form. This is known as the cell plate. So here cytokinesis takes place by cell plate formation. Whereas in case of animal cell, it takes place by invagination of plasma membrane. Here it takes place by cell plate formation. What exactly the cell plate is made up of? It is made up of phragmoplasts. What happens is small pieces of endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi body they migrate towards the middle part. So if I enlarge it a little bit, say these are the pieces of endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi body, which form the small plate-like structure, which we call the phragmoplast. So cell plate formation, phragmoplasts, that is ER and Golgi, pieces of ER and Golgi. They come to the center. The membrane of Golgi and ER, they will form the plasma membrane. That means these membranes, they would join to form the plasma membrane of this cell. These membranes would join to form the plasma membrane of this cell. And the content which is inside these vesicles, these small pieces, the vesicles, they start secreting the substance which is going to make the middle lamella. So this red thing which we have drawn which will get chained into middle lamella. And we know the structure of cell wall. The structure of cell wall is it has middle lamella. Then the cell is going to secrete primary cell wall, primary cell wall and there would be this plasma membrane. So this is how the cell wall will be formed between these two cells. So in case of plant cell, cytokinesis takes place by cell plate formation. The plate comes in the middle of the cell at the equatorial plane 
and it grows towards the peripheric. That means this is going to grow outwards. Whereas in case of animal cells, the invagination started from out and it is growing inwards. Many a times we find few words written here that in animal cells, cytokinesis is in centripetal manner. Whereas in this case, it is by centrifugal manner. And that is only from outside in and inside out. But in a plant cell, the major thing is because there cannot be an invagination. First, the pieces of Golgi and ER come in the middle, which is known, which are called the phragmoblasts, the pieces. They form a cell plate. Cell plate secretes the middle lamella, which is made up of calcium pectate. And around which the cytoplasm of two cells is going to secrete the primary cell wall. That is how this complete membrane will be formed and the two daughter cells are formed. How are these two daughter cells going to separate? They secrete material which is called intercellular material and because of that material these two cells now separate. But in case of plant cells we have seen that the plant cells they normally remain close to each other. So even if they separate they would still remain close to each other. Whereas in case of animal cells, the cells can be, uh, they can get separated also because in uh, animals, many cells, they move like the RBCs, WBCs and all. Here, most of the cells, they remain in the same position. So the major differences which we see between animals and plant cells during cell division, that is mitotic division, are in two stages. In prophase, the difference is aster. Here, Two asters are formed and that is why the division, mitotic division in animal cell is known as amphiastra. We have written this word earlier also and in plant cell as there is no aster formation, it is known as anastra. That is on the basis of asters. The second major difference is in cytokinesis. In animal cell, it is simple by simple invagination of plasma membrane. It is a complex process in case of plant cell. Reason, no invagination can take place because of the rigid cell wall. And so, a pieces of Golgi ER, they come in the middle, around the equatorial plane, form the cell plate, and these vesicles, the pragmoplasts, they secrete the middle lamella. And around them, now, the cell is going to secrete the cell wall. That is how the cytoplasm divides. Here, this cytokinesis starts by the end of anaphase or beginning of telophase. This is what we have written here. In this case, this does not start in anaphase. So, complete nuclear reappearance has taken place and that is the time when these phragmoplasts start to move towards the middle. That means, this starts somewhere around telophase, mid of telophase or towards the end of telophase. Whereas this normally starts by the end of anaphase. So these are the differences between animal cell and plant cells when we talk or when we compare them on the basis of the division which is taking place in them. So now we have seen the complete process of mitosis. We have also seen the comparison or the differences which take place or which are in between animal and plant cell. Now in the next segment, we'll talk about two important things again, maybe in two segments. One uh, is the types of mitotic divisions and then the control or regulation of mitotic division. And when we talk of control, we will also talk of the uncontrolled mitotic division, which results into cancer.